Sent in with a chance. He loves these situations. Hummels. He read it. Cut it out. What a chance here. Got to be. And he scores. Hello everyone, this is Suddenly Even Press Play. Fucking bollocks. Three, two, one. Hello everyone, this is CGNovo92, and today I am bringing you a brand new episode of A League Clyde. Now, I've done this series uh, a few episodes, I think it was in FIFA 13, it was pretty popular, I'm you guys liked it, and he's kept asking me to bring it back, and. Because I've been away for a while, I've sort of like looked back at my previous videos and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and bring the series back and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and leave suggestions down below. Now starting with the goalkeeper, and that's Suchesny, or Suchesny, whatever his name is. He's an Arsenal goalkeeper and lads, and being a Spurs fan it hurts to say, but I really, really love him as a goalkeeper in this game. He is absolutely fantastic. You see, I used him 57 times. That shows you how good he actually is, and especially I'm having that Arsenal badge. It's very painful for me to say that. And sadly for me, there's going to be a few more Arsenal players actually in this squad, and they're absolutely tanks now. This is before the upgrade, lads, like when his he's his card got upgraded and uh, Kachesney has also got his uh, upgrade. So this is pre upgrade, but still I'll absolutely love that centre back card. He's just an absolute brick. And in the centre of the centre back uh the free centre back partnership I should say, his pace doesn't get exploited because he's got high positioning and high uh, marking stats. And beside Kachesney is absolute beast. He's got all the pace. He's on the sort of like the wing centre backs if you want to say that. So you need pace with him and he's definitely got that. And he's actually his upgrade card looks absolutely fantastic. So if you've got the kind just go ahead and buy that it's pretty cheap as well and go the same as same as Merosaka of course uh wait oh yeah oh yeah yeah this is actually going to be uh the Bundesliga now player coming in that's going to be Dante doesn't get any uh chemistry with any of the other players so far but that's going to change soon uh as you can see I really actually liked him as well he's very strong commander he's not as uh, pace as Kachesne, but he really really does well uh sorry in the air and strength wise as well so moving on to the center mid I think I've started with that uh, yeah I started a center attack mid because I just didn't uh bother to convert him because I used him in another squad as well when he was playing cam so it was sort of like saving me coins and he gets uh, the 10 chemistry anyway so it doesn't really matter and this is Ozil <laughs> back when he was good and he was actually really really good in this game as well I love his passing he's got a great curl pass he's very weak on the ball but he's quick enough uh, he's got absolute delicious passing and that's sort of where his role was the tank of the midfield and someone that definitely needed to be there just to add the booty strength in there and that's the box to box maestro that's Bastion Swinstiger King Bastion as I know I call him a lot I think he actually just scored against Manchester United, yeah, I think yesterday, yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the right midfield, and that's going to be Muller, and he's very, very important. If this squad doesn't work with other right mids. I've tried a few other ones, like sort of fancier ones, and an inform one whose stats look good. I was going to use him, but you've just left him too exposed. You need Muller in here to track back because there's not many else that tracks back in this midfield, so you definitely need him. He's a vital, vital part, and adds a lot of strength. And he's actually a very good card as well. He's not just there because he tracks back. He's very good at passing. He's obviously he's 85 rate, so he's not as good. And big Podolski on the left-hand side of midfield, completing that Germany at uh, all midfield. Absolutely brilliant. Really strong. His shooting's ridiculous. Left-footed shots, perfect. Right-footed shots are embarrassing. But you just keep him on that left-hand side. He can cut inside and just blast it right in the top corner. That's what he does. The right midfield is actually going to be robbing. We've actually got a clip with him. I didn't score many good uh, goals with this squad. And that's probably... I'm going to explain that in a few minutes. But you see here... There's some pretty nice play here, and then some flick through oh, by Royce. a striker, there's a couple of spoilers for you. Robin takes it down in the chest and just volleys it straight on the top. That was an like, absolutely very nice goal, and I think Robin, I would say I think he's actually calm. Uh, as long as left foot, uh, a lot more left is absolutely right, and his right foot is just playing this. It's not like Kowalski, um, they just got a great on their strong foot, and if you take them on the that's even better. But once you get to like the weak foot, it's embarrassing, and again, he's... It's really, really frustrating, especially at the bottom of the club, he's more than that. Uh, this shot is just not as good, and de yeah, definitely yeah, not worth the points. Because, um, he only, he only ever really scores when he's on his left foot, and uh, 9 times out of 10 because it's his FIFA 15, and it's Stagger. such a broken game. He shoots 90% with his right foot for absolutely no reason, so be with that all being said, don't really buy this card, lads. There's a lot of cheaper, a lot of better cards out there. You see, he only scored 9 goals in 57 games, which is absolutely shocking. 
Um, it's an absolute disgraceful turn. I didn't actually know it was pretty that bad. Then he's got the high low, so he's, everything else looks and says it should be perfect, but in game for me, he was just really, really bad. The left forward is someone I liked and sometimes and then hated other games he was a very hit and miss player for me and that's Royce I believe he's got a second inform now out as well and I didn't actually know he had an original uh, inform until I seen his second inform so that's the apologies there very good uh, overall when he's on his day uh, when he's not he's pretty poor as well and the striker is someone I wanted to use so much but as you see again a really really bad scoring turnaround especially for me 57 games played uh, 20 uh, goals which is quite disappointing it's all about the pace that's all he's really got his shooting's pretty poor for me but I've time I seem to play him he seems to score a hat trick so I don't know if it's just me that I can't control these players I'm used to sort of playing with slow players uh, because I'm, that's sort of me sticking my nose out and there you go there's some of the substitutes that I actually did have with this squad and of course we have the King Pizzini there absolutely ridiculous 47 games 57 he's already scored more and less games than all of those players now about this squad lads this squad was very 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 bad it looks absolutely amazing on paper, and even looking at back in it now, uh, since it's been, I think, like a month since I've used it, it actually looks amazing, I said, I should go and give this another try, but it's just the, the if I work to be a hard on and getting like, the attack and work routes, but there were certain players I had to get in certain areas just to get, like, the the leaks collided, I wanted to use these players because they looked good, I actually talked with James Gateway, um, he's another YouTuber, and we sort of, like, built the squad together, we talked about the squad, and it, I thought it'd be amazing, but it was absolutely ridiculously bad, it's just poor overall, he's positional-wise, it doesn't seem to work, there's no real balance in the midfield, it needs another person in the midfield to help Swainstagger and Muller track back, if Muller was, I played a couple of games with Muller, as I said, and it was absolutely horrendous, they just, I was conceding so many, I actually think actually went negative with the squad by a lot, I think I only won, wait, let me see, I think it was, wait, then I've got to write down on my notepad, two seconds, uh, yeah, I won 21 games and lost the rest, which is really, really, really embarrassing, but, what we'll say is, um, some of the games I didn't actually play, I don't think I played exactly 50, so I think it was like 50 or something like that, because that's, this is the time when the quick glitch was there, so it counted as a win, uh, or a game, I should say, um, sometimes I didn't actually finish it, so that's going to be the squad, I know it's been a very long ranting episode towards the end, but leave it down uh, down below if you want to see more of this league Clyde, and of course you just want to see the nation national squad build, I get a lot, and I mean a lot of people uh, sending me squads for me to have a look at and build, so continue doing that lads, and I'll continue to bring you videos whenever I can, I, I plan on bringing on another two in the next week, uh, so hopefully that will be come out, and as always, I've been CJ Novo 92 thank you for watching, and bye bye.